Whew. So there's been a lot of progress. Um, you can see this there. I actually had my electrician come in. I'll show you uh, what we've done in there. And then behind me, I know it's not the music room, but while we're at it, uh, we've put together walls all the way down for our storage room. And then I've also put walls around this side to block off the laundry room. And then where actually the camera is that you can't see, uh, our next project next weekend is we're going to build another wall across and split off the tool shed. So anyways, let's go take a look, see what the electrician has done for us. So we ran the wiring down and you can see, sorry, down here you can see our uh, outlet box outlet box started and actually runs all the way around and sorry we had band practice the other day so I had to move all the gear back to the wall but the wiring is gone pretty much across every way and then here I'm really excited we uh, we're gonna use these uh, recessed LED lights um, for the basement and uh, let's see I think we put up oh yeah, Here's a couple that we've kind of got mocked up in there. We're going to run six sets of lights. Uh, two down there, two in the center, and two towards the beginning. So we'll have six lights in here in total. And then uh, all this wall has outlets too. So here's the music room so far. Woo! And if we come out here into the, to the great abyss of mess... Um, you can see we've got an outlet on this side. We've got a couple outlets on this side actually. And we put them up um, four foot up so that all my tools and workbenches, uh, I don't have to worry about plugs in the bottom. All the plugs will be, you know, at reachable heights. But here's the mess we call a wood shop right now, tool shop. We got boards laying around everywhere. Ugh, it's just crazy. But that's where we are so far. Uh, so this part kind of sucks, and uh, it's it's fine. But uh, I have all of this denim uh, insulation up in the ceiling and the rafters, but I'm gonna pull it all down. And I went out and bought the Roxol uh, Safe and Sound fire and safe, uh, mineral wool insulation to do all the walls and enough to do the ceilings. I just find that this stuff is so bulky and heavy and it, it needs a lot of the, the hangers to hang up in the ceiling. I feel like I've got a lot of gaps and a lot of issues, um, a lot of inconsistency on where it's lying. So I'm gonna just pull all this down and I'm going to put it through the rest of the house uh, so it's not going to waste, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting up the rock sole into the wall cavities after I finish taking all of this down, which, again, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, you can see where things, you know, are underhanging, overhanging. Uh, they're falling down because these hangers are so heavy. I just don't want from vibration down the road all the hangers falling down and letting loose on top of all the, you know, the drywall and that would drive me nuts. So I'm just going to redo it uh, using the new mineral, uh, mineral wall. So I guess I'm going to start taking this down and moving it around. Okay, so I'm going to start putting insulation up. Against the walls here, uh, I'm gonna start with the sides against the brick, um, and then I'll wait to do these sides until I put drywall up on the back side. That way the insulation doesn't go anywhere, I guess. Probably don't need to, but that's what I'm gonna do. So anyways, um, I'm using some thermofiber, uh, fire and sound guard. Uh, I had a lot of people talk about it, so we'll give it a try, see what happens. I was also told to make sure I go get one of these uh, fancy insulation knives it makes cutting this stuff a lot easier. So I did, and uh, I got my tape measure uh, because 
I guess this stuff is really nice to work with that you can actually measure where all of your, your line is, cut it, slice it a little bit, um, and then work it around uh, the, the wiring. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I've never, never used this stuff before, so let's, uh, let's get a piece out and see what it's like. I also know that being uh, mineral wool, I'm definitely wearing gloves this time. I didn't use it with the blue jean stuff, but uh, with this, I'm definitely told you want to. So I listened. So, what I'm going to do is do like I read. I'm going to go ahead. Take my tape measure. These should be 24 inches high. My uh, electrician, he's fucking awesome. I pardon my French. My electrician is awesome. So I'm gonna literally take this. I'm gonna go up 24, 24 inches. I'm just going to nicely slice down and then just kind of touch my finger in there. Sorry, I forgot. This one's not 16 inches on center because we got the end board. If this board wasn't here, it would be. So I have to cut down some pieces. So let's see, how tall are these? Sorry, 47 inches tall. That's 37 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. There we go. All right. Now I just gotta do the whole rest of the basement. Yes. Wow. This is some uh, much nicer stuff than the other stuff. All right, so now for here, I'm gonna mark, this is 11 and 15. It's about two and a half inches. Okay, so. Then you gotta know which side as I flip it. This is the side that I want to hit that, so. I'm gonna come out eleven inches and fifteen inches and two and a half inches of depth. Should be there. And now I'm just gonna cut that out. Again, I gotta make room for the wire. And this hole on this side is 24. This is 24 also. So still gonna come up 24 inches. about halfway down. And 
And again, just gonna stick my finger in there, make some room, especially because I got this here. So what I'm also gonna do is for that, I'm just gonna clear out a little bit for the wiring. So let's see how we did. And that is nice. I got right around the box. Nice and tight. That'll keep it real solid. This isn't so bad. I just got a whole room to go now. Right. So I'm I'm two bags in. And two bags got me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns or 10, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the corner is a little bit smaller. I'm thinking about taking all these excess that I cut off from the top, and I'll start using those on that, but I have to cut off more ends. But I thought I'd just give a quick update. Um, being that I'm two bags in, this thing is just awesome. Uh, this, uh, this product is actually way easier to work with than I ever expected and a thousand times easier to handle than that R19 denim blue jean shit. That stuff was a nightmare. Uh, to hang it yourself is virtually impossible. Uh, this stuff is, is self expanding or retaining. Um, it's got lots of dense weight to it. It doesn't flex well or much so it's not like bending over as I'm going. This is a thousand times easier. So I'm really excited that I'm gonna put the same stuff up in the joists um, and I have a feeling it's gonna be way easier. I just gotta work around a lot of old electrical and some other crap, but anyways, I thought I'd just give a quick update as I go. It seems like it's actually gonna be very simple for me to go ahead and even do some of these walls without a backing because this stuff, once it's in the joists or it's in the beams, it's it's not moving. Um, it's it's really, really well in there. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep going and uh, keep you updated. Here's a fun trick, a uh, little tip for you. Um, I know that my wiring is at 24, but what I do is then I leave this end at 24, and I use this part of the tape measure, I go 24, and I hold it kind of at an angle. And I just go through, and now you can see it scribed a nice line for me to follow. And this is really helpful and is saving me a lot of time versus trying to go like this, mark it, mark it, you know, and make sure it's straight. So I've been just going ahead and using the tape measure to make me a line, and, uh, and then I cut it from there. So, cool little tip for you.